हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एन टी एन एट साइंस फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन बिफोर यू इन दिस वीडियो एंड एज वी आर ऑलरेडी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट यूनिट एट ऑफ न्यू अपडेटेड यू जी सी नेट इन्वायरमेंटल साइंस सिलेबस that deals with environmental impact assessment eco planning and sustainable development so in the sequence of uh, discussion this uh, topic of eia now today i'm here to tell you what kind of uh, questions have been uh, asked in previous year papers of ugc net so friends let us start the first question i would uh, put up from this uh, book and a uh, question number you can see question number 2 this question have been asked from i have encircled that question you can see in the video this question is under the eia notification of 14th september 2006 preparation of eia is not required for the projects falling in the option a category a projects category b projects option c category b1 projects and option d category b2 projects friends let me tell you according to new notification 2006 for eia it has been declared that the major projects have been categorized in two categories considerably a and b whereas a category a projects will be mandatory or required eia but category b projects uh, have been this divided into two sub categories that is category b1 and category b2 so category b1 projects have been uh made uh mandatory to conduct eia but if we talk about category b2 projects so those projects which come under category b2 have been exempted so the option d is correct okay now moving the next question you can see uh, question number third which type of project usually require an eia yes which type of project usually require an eia so option is in front of your screen you can see community garden development option number a option number b mining and mineral development projects option number c outdoor recreation and option number d development of community wells friends development of community wells is a wrong answer this will not be correct because eia is conducted for uh, those type of projects which can be harmful or which can be posing impact on environment so outdoor recreation this is also a uh, we can say incorrect option and uh, option number b mining and mineral development projects yes this can be an, an option that is true and option number a community garden development so in a case of community garden development there is no requirement of eia because this is not a, a very a large project that can affect environment so this is uh, i think uh, option number a will not be a correct answer option number c and option number d will also not be correct option so option number b will be the correct one okay now skip the next question because uh, this question deals with uh, a iso series so this question we shall discuss in detail in the upcoming lecture video because in that video i have already discussed what is environmental management and what is iso series 14000 and 40001 okay so in that case we shall discuss but moving the next question question number 5 you can see this question has uh, 
given a command match list one and list two identify the correct answer from the code given below here in list one EIA methods have been provided in list two features have been provided now the main uh, point is a uh, PE you can see overlay method Q network method R beetle columbus method and S simulation models so now we send uh, match each type of method so we can see that uh, if we, we talk about so option number P uh, we can see uh, P overlays method is matched with you can see composite impact by superimposing maps about it I will uh, tell you in detail in the next upcoming video lecture one by one so this is the correct matching for network method it will be uh, option number C uh, option number 3 uh, environmental system as a complex wave and beetle columbus method is we can say option number A environmental evaluation system and simulation modeling is option number second adaptive environmental assessment so when I have matched all the options we are all the given uh, words to the each correct feature so what is the correct option option number D okay friends now moving the next question you can see the baseline stud studies in EIA pertains to I have already uh, marked this one uh, collection of demographic data only or option number B prediction of significant residual environmental impact option number D existing environmental setting of the proposed development area option number D selection of the best project option available friends when we uh, conduct EIA so we have to um, start our uh, uh, assessment from the baseline study so baseline means we have to uh, assess the base means what kind of environmental elements are present there okay and what kind of uh, composition what kind of structure uh, of the proposed site is in the uh, present condition is to be assessed under baseline study so friends the option will be C this is the correct option because baseline studies deals with the study of existing environmental setting of the proposed development area okay now moving the next question and this is the good question which one of the following steps is not included in the scoping process friends as already I have told you in the previous video what is the procedure of EIA so first of all you have to screen your project and after screening the second step comes with scoping so in the scoping process here you can see uh, option A has been uh, given baseline description and potential additional data collection needs option number B description of environmental impact and creation of contingency plan option number C define set of criteria to assess the project and option number D setting of experts team that will conduct EIA and scoping means we have to uh, define the dimensions we have to uh, give the description of all type of possible impact in future and uh, how will you mitigate or uh, how will you uh, plan to mitigate them comes under this process of scoping so 
we can uh, see that it's coping also uh, is uh, just type of uh, we can say that uh, current situation assessment so after uh, or in other words we can say that uh, after baseline description this comes so option number b is correct now moving the next question now in the question number uh, you can see that Identify the correct sequence with reference to environmental clearance process for new projects. Definitely, it is a very very good question. So, uh, appraisal, screening, scoping, or public consultation, or option number B, screening, scoping, public consultation, appraisal, option number C, scoping, public consultation, appraisal, screening. Option number D, public consultation, appraisal, screening, and scoping. Friends, the order of uh, uh, appraisal, screening, scoping, public consultation is very uh, uh, wrong option because uh, this is a reversal order. So, and now come to the top point B, screening. Yes, in the sequence of uh, EIA, we have to. Uh, conduct first screening and then scoping then public consultation and finally appraisal friends this option b can be true but let us check out other options option number c scoping public consultation appraisal screening friends scoping maybe public consultation that's why yes it is true appraisal and thereafter screening no matter because screening is the initial step this is not a final step so friends this is a wrong op uh, option now option number d if you see public consultation appraisal screening scoping this is also a wrong sequence so friends the correct answer will be option number b okay so in the case of environmental clearance process we have to uh, pass through screening scoping public consultation and appraisal okay keep remember thanks for watching this video friends in the next video we shall discuss new uh, questions that has been asked previously uh, in uh, last pa year papers but till then keep studying and stay tuned with me and friends now start your uh, making own notes because uh, very less time you have right now so study and uh, solving previous year question will definitely help you to improve your performance and uh, i will be in touch with you all and definitely will have to do our best and we shall do our best keep remember so friends in the next video i shall discuss with a new topic and the new topic will be international standard organization or international stand organization for standard standardization iso and especially in terms of environmental management we shall discuss iso 14000 series okay till then have a nice day thank you for watching video and if you like the video please subscribe and share to your friends because it may be that those friends who will be looking for the preparation of UGC net environmental science can get help from this video and I am totally devoted for those aspirants who are trying to clear or who are going to prepare for UGC net 2019 so friends please keep on watching the video and studying solving the question asking the question and sharing okay friends thank you thank you
for watching once again